But first, I always like to start presentations about social media with just a really quick demonstration. And I'll start off by saying that I would love it if you put your phones on silent. But I'm also going to make a very quick cell phone phone call to an automated platform called Utters, or Utterly. And Utterly is a microblogging platform that's very similar to Twitter. Okay, you've heard about Twitter, but in, on Utterly, I can record an audio message using my cell phone. Okay, so it's prompting me right now. Good morning, everyone. This is Patrick, and I'm giving a workshop today in Pleasant Hill, California, about social media. I'll be writing a blog post about it soon, so check it out at tacticalexecution.com. Okay, so I just recorded this message, and now I'm pressing three to publish. Okay, and it just worked. So. That audio recording just populated my Twitter account. And Twitter populates my Facebook. Twitter also populates my website. And Utterly has a widget on the side of my website. If you had an internet connection, it's right down here. And there's a little widget. This one populates my website as well. You can press play and hear what I just recorded. My website populates my Facebook. And my website also populates my LinkedIn profile. Oh my God. Okay. Five audiences. I mean, how cool is that? Right? Who has a cell phone? So where did it all start? Social media. And we're going to talk about what social media is in a second. But it started with uh, these three, really. Forums and chat rooms. This is, think back 1996, 1995. Right? This is where it all started. Uh, bulletin boards and online dating sites. Okay. Uh, what is it today? Well, let's just quickly go through a, a few examples. We're talking about social networks, right? LinkedIn, Facebook, MySpace, okay? Social bookmarking, we're gonna talk about it in a second, so if you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. Companies like Dig, Delicious, StumbleUpon, Reddit, you might recognize some of those names. You may not, and that's okay, uh, but we'll talk about it in a second. Some of the blogging directories, like my blog, blog, and uh, blog catalog. If you go to some of the large bloggers, they quite often have a widget little square on the left hand side and the right hand side that shows their community on these directories. Okay. So those are very large uh, social uh, media platforms. The microblogging platforms, right? what we just did, Utterly is a microblogging platform, so is Twitter. Microblogging is because on Twitter, for anyone who doesn't know, you only have 140 characters to work with. And the idea is to answer the question, what are you doing? 140 characters, that's about two sentences. So people have these tiny little tidbits that they send out. Is that okay? Is it working? Yeah, I know it's tricky back there. Cable. I know, I'm sorry about the cable. Welcome. Um, and sharing communities like YouTube and Flickr. Okay, one, one place you're sharing videos and the other place you're sharing photos. And finally, uh, some of the group platforms like Meetup. Some of you might be familiar with Meetup, which has been a big player in my, my life for sure, and Yahoo Groups is another big one. So what are we really talking about? We're talking about platforms that facilitate communication between users. That is social media. Right. Uh, so if you think about any platform that you can think of, if it facilitates communication between users, that's effectively social media. And this definition implies that there's two opportunities. The first is the facilitation of the communication. So who built Facebook? Right, who built Dig? Who built YouTube? That's a huge opportunity for them. And maybe for some of you, the larger companies, you can build communities of your own where you're facilitating the communication of other people, and we're going to talk about that. But there's also the communication itself, which is just leveraging the platforms that already exist. And that's really the focus of what we're going to talk about. Okay. How do we use the platforms that are already out there and just put our, you know, it's like, it's like throwing really good bait into a raging river. Right, that's what we're trying to do. And once you figure out the combination, you need both, right? Good bait and a little stream, nothing. Great bait, you know, or bad bait, rotten bait, and a raging river doesn't do anything. Good bait, raging river, it's the two things you need. And once you figure out what that combination is, you just do it as many times as you can. Right? You all live in a home, and that home has one front door. Your website can have thousands of front doors. Anytime there's a link to your website that's a front door to your website, you want to have as many front doors in the right places as possible. Okay, just conceptually. We'll get down to the specifics in a bit, I promise. But for now, does that make sense? 
just the objective. Now, the, the centerpiece is your blog. So who here uh, hates the word blog just like on principle? <laughs> <laughs> but I know I'm in the right place. <laughs> um, too bad. Because it's the new way and we have to talk about it. Uh, because that's where everything links together. Think about a hub with spokes. Your blog is the hub. I mean, that's where it's. Uh, that's where you're contacted. That's where people, for the most part, are going to get a hold of you and really see the full breadth of what you offer. Like my website has roughly 400 and some pages. It's a big site of just content, right? And all that's free, by the way. So you can go. But all the stuff I do on these different networks point to my website. It's a little tiny demonstration of expertise with a link to my website. So if they like what they saw here, they're like, hey, that guy knew something about what I am looking for. So click on the link, bam, they're on your website. Now they see all the other stuff you do and you're engaging your community. 